Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Introduce uh, from the group uh, one One word like explain about best control on minggu plan Remember Rif- Rifan Darmawan Study number 149 Desi Cahyanti Study number 058 Farita- Farika Aretama uh, Study number 060 Um, Nita Amelia study number 097 Corin study number 186 Ilham 111 The subject number 1 background classification and morphology of minggu plan number 3 pest control minggu plans number 4 complication background Minggu, Maggi Vera Indica is one type of food was product is quality high and preferred in many Indonesia. The productive is Minggu commodity can be from year to year is the do exit production in Herbert area. Crop not yet producing optimal climate disturbance and attack by virus pet and this is uh, the exit of ex- Exitly change or every mo- every monumental factor such as climate, water, temperature, humidity, like rainfall. Uh, the goal of pest control in on minggu is the determine pest in plants minggu to find uh, out how to control pest in minggu plants to find how to find out how to control disease. in past pen classification and morphology the mango plant is included in spermatophyta division and its species named mangifera indica l the mango plant is one of the national superior fruit plants which is very popular with the community indonesia and the world Because this fruit has a taste that tends to be sweet, has economic value, and of course has a high nutritional value. The growth terms of mango plants are The first, mango plants can grow at the height of 1 to 500 meters above sea level. The second, dry to moderate climate with desired temperature 24 to 27 degrees Celsius. The third, rainfall 1,500 to 2,000 mm per year. And the last, soil pH 5.5 to 7.5 with sandy loam soils. Pest control in mango plants. Primary. The primary pests of mango plants are fruit flies, mango stem borer, mango fruit borer, shoot borer, mango plant hopper, and leaf sucking ladybug. Secondary. Secondary pests can cause serious damage to a certain area and time due to human intervention, such as change in cultivation techniques and varieties. Planted and the use of insecticides isn't wise. Fruit flies generally attack red mangoes. Fruit flies are larger than house flies and can be red, black, or yellow. Depending on the species, fruit flies attack mangoes by piercing the skin of the fruit and placing the eggs of the pulp. Fruit flies eggs are small, white, and head within one until two days. Their white larvae are caught together. The way to control fruit flies is that fruit fly attack can be reduced by keeping the garden clean by burning them. Putting them in a tub of insecticide solution, boiling them, or buying burying them as deep as one meter from the ground. Mango stem winds. The attack of mango stem burr cause symptom of dry brains followed 
by broken brains, trace of broken brain, visible holes, and bore channels. These pests start attacking from the larva stage by grinding the bark and bloom, then grinding the brains of wood and moving to the main trunk. Control can be done by utilizing the parasitoid Alanicolus initiator. Convertilensus genital genitalicola neo neoaplectana car, carpocapsae onisira paliates sclerodermus guani. The fungus Bioferia basiana can also be applied during the shoot breaking phase when the adult bird start laying its egg to sup sup the pest pollution. Bird attack and mango stem can be prevented and eradicated by collecting all borders and then destroying them. Affected branch and stem are open. The lander are cut off. And the fourth one is mango shoot bore or Strenocetus genophemis. The pest causes plant branches to die from drying out and the affected branch will blacken due to the joining of the puncture marks. How we control it? First, we can using the Entomopathogen Briovaria basiana. We can using Ecparasitoid from Hymenoptera family Calcidae, and we can using systemic insecticide. Systemic insecticide can be injected into the wood vessels when the plant enters the shoot breaking phase to prevent stem and shoot stem bore larvae. And the fifth one is mango plant hoppers or Idioceros nephios parsus. The symptom in young shoot and panicle stalks and the pest population will increase when the plant enters the flowering growth phase. And how we control it? First, we can spray Belferia basiana during flower phase, and natural enemies can be used, which exclude egg parasites such as a Monoclea segmaculatus, Chrysopalasi perda, Malada boninensis, which are predators of names and adult mango plant hoppers. Okay, the next pest is the leaf sucking ladybug. The symptom caused by the attack, name or an adult, uh, young leaf become wilted and dry because of the leaf root is drained and evaporated in the wound. The severe attack shoots become dry and die. Then the plant can form a pinnacle and flower. The control can be done is spraying by the etymopathogenic Bioferia basiana when the plant enters the shoot burst phase. Then the use of the natural enemies can be done in the form of egg parasitoid from the Hemiptera family, Sacrilidae. The injection with the systemic insect insecticide can be carried out by the network of wood vessel when the plant enters the shoot breaking phase. Another control is cutting the shoot where the egg group is laid and the branch that have wilted or they uh, buried under 30 cm deep or bird. The, the conclusion is the mango plant is the one of the national superior fruit. Plants can be used as industrial potential and the process of the product. One of the important component that inter interfere with the productivity of the mango plant is pest attack. The primary pest mango plants are fruit flies, mango stem borer, mango fruit bro borer, shoot borer, mango plant hopper, and the leaf sucking ladybug. Pest control can be done using the entomopathogen parasitoid mechanical and physical chemical con control. Okay, thank you for your attention. That's all from our group.